Hello everyone, it is Jazz here and today I am doing a music themed video. One of my new subscribers, Cindy C. Jordan, requested that I do a video that really displays my full music collection. So not just my vinyl collection, but also my CDs and my digital albums that I own. And I aim to please, and I really do thank Cindy for a really cool idea. Before we get started, I just want to preface it with a few things. And the first thing is, this is actually going to have to be a series of videos because I'm a dance teacher and a musician, and my music collection is extensive, as you can imagine. It would be like a seven hour video, so I've decided to kind of make it a manageable amount, starting with my digital collection, and I'm just going to show things off 25 albums at a time and I'm only going to do full albums if we did every individual song that I've ever downloaded that wasn't part of an album we would yet again be here all day in addition to that I do also for monetary reasons not always buy a ton a ton of albums because I do subscribe to things like Spotify and what is now called Napster, although it's been Rhapsody and Napster, I don't know, it changes all the time, but I do subscribe to those just so that I can have ballet music and things like that at hand and not have to like spend money every time I want to get a new ballet album. I can just have a monthly subscription to that and then you know I have that stuff. So what I'm talking about today are albums that I've actually purchased and then also some of these do come from the fact that Amazon has a thing where sometimes you can get a free mp3 with your vinyl so some of these I also have in vinyl so if I have them vinyl I'll tell you that too. Let's talk about some of the digital music that I have. I picked 25 albums to talk about today for our first music collection video and let's go for it. First, we will start off with 19 and 21, both by Adele. I still need to get 25, but I have 19 and 21 digitally. And I did have the digital version of 21 before I got the vinyl of 21, but I do have that in vinyl. And yeah, both of those are just awesome albums. Every song Adele does is good, you know, so you got to own some Adele. Two cellos, they're a self-titled album. They are two guys that play popular music like rock and pop on cellos, and they are crazy fun. I saw them in concert, and they really rock the stage, and they also are really funny guys, and yeah, it was an awesome concert. And if you ever get a chance to see them, you should see them and you should also get this album because it's really good. Next we have 5AM by Amber Run. I discovered Amber Run through the show Teen Wolf actually. Their song I Found was on there and I really like that song. And you know how on Teen Wolf they actually put it at the bottom of the screen like who the artist is. So I looked them up on YouTube and I really liked some of their music videos and some of the stuff that they were doing. So I definitely went and bought this whole album and I got the deluxe edition. So this is 5 a.m. deluxe, so there's a couple of extra songs on there. Absolution by Muse. Muse is one of my favorite bands, so I definitely was glad when I was flipping through and discovered that I did actually own the full album of Absolution. Totally forgot that I owned it when I changed phones. You know, you don't always put everything back on your phone. I was like, yes, I have Absolution. This is awesome possum. And I believe I have Absolution in CD as well. So I could have actually ripped this from the CD into my Amazon library. But, you know, I have it. That's the important thing. <laughs> the Boy Who Never by Landon Pig. This is a great album. I really love Landon Pig and his songwriting style. It's really cool. The final and self-titled album, The Civil Wars album. I love this album. I want this in every format. I can get this album in. Just, it's a beautiful album. I know they broke up after this album, but it was just like still, it doesn't make it any less fabulous. <laughs> Next is an album that I actually forgot that I owned. See, it's good that I'm doing this because I found a bunch of albums that I forgot that I owned, and it's Continuum by John Mayer. Probably my favorite John Mayer album. Really like that album a lot, so glad that I have it. <laughs> then I have Just You Inspire You, Something, and Moth, all by Chairlift. 
I believe the digital version of Does You Inspire You that I currently own was a free mp3 that came with my vinyl version of this. I do also have Moth on vinyl even though I bought the album before I got it in vinyl. I don't have something yet in vinyl because it's not currently released in vinyl. I just really love Cheerlips music. It's the best to me electronic music. I also want to support them because Patrick Wimberly who is in that duo he used to be my neighbor in the place where I used to live so I went to school with his sister for a little while and like knew that knew him personally so you know support your your acquaintances and friends because that's a good thing to do and also they're just I'm really glad that I truly do enjoy their music then I have the Garden State soundtrack which was a free mp3 with my vinyl version of the garden state soundtrack i believe i also have this in cd somewhere so if you can't tell i love this soundtrack it's probably one of my top five soundtracks so i have it in pretty much everything now which is pretty cool kaleidoscope heart by sarah Bareilles. I think I got this for a really good deal, but I would have probably bought it anyway just because it's a really awesome album. I love how Sarah Bareilles writes her music and she's super talented. She's like this great singer and instrument player and you gotta love that. Both Revo and Sing It All The Way by Walk Off The Earth. Yet again, one of my favorite, super favorite bands. Just love them so much. They have such like really peppy beats. Every song on both albums is good. If you haven't checked out Walk Off The Earth, they are YouTubers, so definitely check them out. Look them up on YouTube because they are brilliant and awesome. Songs for Swingin' Lovers by Frank Sinatra. It's just a collection of Frank Sinatra songs. I think I got this on a Daily Deals deal, and I thought, I like Frank. I'm gonna get this and also it turned out to be a really handy thing because it also was a great album to do tap dancing to and or just play in the background at a party or something like that it's just a really great buy next is the soundtrack for the movie musical rock of ages rock of ages is basically all about different kinds of 80 music mostly by the hair bands uh, but you know there's other it is music involved in there. I think I'm one of the few people that really highly enjoyed that movie. I thought it was really fun. Um, I got the, I guess, the sense of humor of it worked for me. So I definitely had to buy the album. It's just fun. Night Visions by Imagine Dragons. So their first album. Love this album so much. Also one of my favorite bands. Just really great and so many favorite songs on that album. You can't go wrong with Imagine Dragons, I feel like. It's just good music. Soundtrack for the movie Whip It. I've had that soundtrack for a really long time and it has like moved from digital device to digital device because I don't think I actually bought it on Amazon. I think I bought it on some other digital format. So I have just moved that thing filed by file everywhere I've gone uh, with my phone or whatever I'm using to play music on. It's a really fun soundtrack, definitely has a lot of cool different types of music. Also features Landon Pig, who I mentioned earlier because he was in that movie. I have version 2.0 by Garbage and I believe this was the first album that I bought on Amazon. It's got like a little bit of nostalgia because I think I had this album before he had a smartphone. Yeah, I love Garbage. Definitely one of my favorite bands. I saw them in concert at a festival when I was like a teenager and they were pretty dang awesome. Then I have the Marie Antoinette soundtrack from the Sofia Coppola film and this is a cool soundtrack to me just because that movie really featured a interesting mix of modern music with also classical music and so the soundtrack is just like that it's got some definitely different bands that i probably wouldn't have tried listening to if i hadn't you know checked out this album and it's definitely 
a really cool soundtrack. Both Title and Win the Pawn dot 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 by Fiona Apple. Win the Pawn is not actually called Win the Pawn dot dot dot. It's this really long name, but when you call it something for short, you just go Win the Pawn dot 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 because it's based on like a poem that she wrote for the title of the album. Anyway, both of these are really excellent. I've pretty much liked every Fiona Apple album. I feel like these two are the most commercial ones that she did, but I really loved her other ones. I saw her in concert too, and she is crazy fun. But I did think that she might accidentally smack somebody with the microphone stand a couple times. <laughs> but she is really fun to watch and really talented. Coming near the end, so for number 24, I have Devil's Playground by Billy Idol. I believe I ripped this from my CD version of the album. And I'm really glad that I did because I'm not sure I know where the CD is. But... I really love this album. I I just, I enjoy Billy Idol in general, but this was like the first album of his that I owned. And the songs are really fun and I think the lyrics are really fun. So, yeah, yeah. And lastly, we have The Doors self-titled album, which was a free MP3 with the vinyl of the album that I got. You can't go wrong with The Doors, although this is the one that features This Is The End, and that song, when you read the lyrics, kind of creeps me out. Otherwise, a lot of their famous songs are on this one, so it's definitely one to own, especially if you really love The Doors, like me. Those were 25 albums in my digital album collection. I'll probably do at least one more digital collection video in the next coming month. It's gonna take me a little longer, probably, to get to the CD collection, just because when I moved last year, I kind of lost track of some of my CDs, and I wasn't very good at keeping track of CDs in the first place, which is why I don't buy them very often. Also why I started a vinyl collection, because it's really difficult to lose vinyl and digital. You can lose them, but it's a little harder. If I can, I will link you to my Spotify if you want to check out some of the music that I'm listening to on Spotify, and I also do a playlist every week on my blog. So if you want to kind of see those playlists on my Spotify, you can definitely check them out there. I hope everyone enjoyed this. And thank you to Cindy for suggesting this. I hope this kind of meets your expectations. I know you wanted like one video of all my collection, but I kind of had to make it manageable. That's all folks. I will see you next week. Bye.